Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on maintenance and repair of the biogas plant. In this tutorial, we will learn different techniques to maintain and repair the biogas plant and the biogas burner. Periodic, partial and complete cleaning of the biogas plant is a must. This will ensure that the biogas plant runs smoothly. It will also ensure efficient working of the biogas plant for many years. Let us first look into the maintenance section. So, how often should one carry out maintenance of the biogas plant? Maintenance should be carried out on a daily basis by doing the following. Always mix the bio waste with water in the proper ratio. This will ensure smooth flow of the bio waste from the mixing tank into the digester tank. If adding plant waste, crush and chop the leaves up to 1 to 4 cm. Do not feed too much straw into the digester tank as it is difficult to be digested. Sticks and branches of trees should also be avoided. Soap, oil, chemical, insecticide and pesticides should not be added. Soil, sand or stone should also not be added as they will accumulate at the base of the digester and hinder gas production. Quantity of bio waste to be supplied depends upon the size of the plant. Too much bio waste should not be fed into the digester. This will lead to shorter retention time. That is, bio waste will be in the digester tank for lesser time and fermentation won't be completed. Hence, manure will come out in the slurry tank without being digested. If less bio waste is fed into the digester, then gas production will be low. Water condensation should be checked regularly as water in the pipeline will block the passage of gas. Do so by lifting the gas pipe so that the water can run back into the digester tank. Also keep a check that the slurry is being pumped out smoothly into the slurry tank. Ensure that the slurry is being emptied out of the slurry tank when it is full. No inflammable items like lighter and or cigarettes should be brought near the outlet pipe of the dome. Another important thing to be done is that Slurry in the digester tank should be completely removed once in three years. This is usually done by the mason himself. As shown, keep the mixing tank and the slurry tank covered. This is done to ensure proper hygiene and to avoid breeding of mosquitoes near the plant. Let us now 
look into the repair section. Repair of biogas burner should always be done by a qualified technician. What you see here is a biogas burner with the flame. To start repairing, first switch off the inflow of gas by turning off the knobs on the hose pipe and at the burner. Doing so is very important. What you see here is the burner without the flame after the knobs have been turned off. Wait for a few minutes and light the burner to ensure that the gas inflow has stopped. Now remove the hose pipe connected to the burner. Do so by loosening the voge clip tightened on the hose pipe connected to the burner. Once it is loosened, pull out the hose pipe. Now place the hose pipe near your ear to check for the sound of gas. No sound means no gas inflow and the repair work can be carried out safely. Now we start dismantling the burner. Next we will remove the debris in the burner. As shown in the image, blow air through the hose burner connector. This will also help to check if air is reaching smoothly to the flame ring. Slightly tap the burner and then turn it upside down. You can see the debris fallen from the burner. In case of hard debris which cannot be removed by blowing air, a dry scrubbing pad can be used. To clean the flame ring, use a pin and insert it into the holes for cleaning. A ring with clean holes will ensure smooth flow of gas and fuller flame. A clean ring will look like this. Apart from what is mentioned, periodic inspection of the plant is necessary. Inspection will help to locate cracks on the surface of the digester tank. Otherwise, the generated biogas can escape into the atmosphere through these cracks. Hence, these cracks need to be sealed quickly. Once in three years, the mason also repaints the inner wall of the digester tank. This is done by using white cement and synthetic resin adhesive mixture. This mixture will also help to seal the cracks if present. To make this mixture, use the following. 2 liters of water, 250 grams of synthetic resin adhesive and 2 kgs of white cement. Mix these thoroughly and use. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt 
about different techniques to maintain and repair the biogas plant and the biogas burner. This video was created by the Spoken Tutorial Project with inputs from Rural ICT Project, IIT Bombay. More information on these projects can be found at these links. This is Bella Tony along with the animation team of the Spoken Tutorial Project signing off. Thank you for joining.